Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Battle Brothers. Finally a new episode. I've been super busy with you know, working in the house and uh, also you know general work and some reviews as well. But here we go on. And also this Let's Play is going to continue till I beat one endgame crisis at the very least. Um, unless I die before that, which I don't hope. Um, yeah, but for safety reasons I don't play Iron Man and there are no achievements or in an emergency case I could even uh, reload the game. Um, okay, this looks all sorted. I think we did sort everything out. Last episode maybe some stuff to sell. Got enough food, enough tools, we could sell some of the shields and maybe this we won't use it ever and now we can take on another contract let's take a look at the two skull contract first okay we have to we have to defend the outskirts of um, Adlerstollen let's actually do that um, I hope everything gets triggered correctly because we now just have to basically wait. Hoppala! Recenter, okay. Till they get attacked, and the outskirts could be up here as well. So let's defend the poor people of Adlerstollen. Nothing happening so far. The sooner they attack, the better for us, because it means we can take on another contract. Win a battle against 12 or more enemies is our current objective. Our ambition. So far no one has attacked. Um, let's go down here. Check this out. Nothing. You know, there are supposed to be some raiding parties attacking. Okay, the brigands are inside. Prepare for battle and protect the town. Here we go. I am prepared. Where are they? Are they up here? No. Oh, there they are. It's only seven. We need to attack them quickly. It's a marksman and some brigand raiders and a leader. Interesting. Oh, that would be awesome for armor farming. Let's do an aim shot at him. What's our chances with an aim shot? 51%. I could move up with him. Just for one shot at least, so let's actually do it. Come on, I need to... Okay, it didn't... Why does it not trigger? Are they too far away or what? What's going on here? Okay, I could... Yeah, it's too far away. I could shoot at him. He has no shield either, so let's shoot at him. Not a good shot. Now we will need to take the high ground. He will wait one turn. <clears throat> Him as well. He could move forward a little bit. Form a spear wall. 
he will form a shield wall, we let them come, otherwise they attack us twice, this way they only attack us once. He's going to use his javelin. 22% ain't great, to be honest. Yeah. You wait. Actually, he needs to move forward. Yeah, I misplayed that because otherwise they won't be able to attack. So let's play it safe now in general. Let's have them wait. I will only move this guy forward and this guy. Maybe only this guy, actually. I think I'll even have him wait here. And he will go up and I, I will do a spear wall with him instead of the shield wall. Here they come. Okay, he can just about reach my guy there. So with them I can actually end their turn. Okay, they start throwing their shite, but we also have a quiver, yeah, or a bolt in this case, in, in, in the quiver. And that wasn't too good. Normal shot against him would be a 31% chance only. So I'll actually walk up here. And then shoot once at him. 37, 5% better. 5 ish. Is that the leader? Okay, we denied him. He's the. Now, who's the leader? Raider, Raider, Casper, the Cut Purse. Now the thing is, we can try to impale him, he's only 50%, but we hit him, and we hit him to the head, that's very good. Is it still going to be his turn? I'll actually have this guy wait. So he can move down one tile, and then attack as well. And he will move forward, and I will try to knock him out. 19%, 47%. Good. Do I ha do I dare trying to step him? I think I do. We need some armor. 28%. We hit him. Good. And his turn and he'll move forward and help out against this dude again a hit to the head I won't use the dog just yet he needs to go kind of into cover a little bit and use his javelin oh no now, could you use your dagger as well, please? Ah! Nice. I think we might have a really good chance, spear wall, of obtaining a... Um, nice hit to that. I think I'll try to farm him as well. And this dude needs to retreat, if he survives at all. Oh, retreat, full retreat for him, for Bjarne. And now it's Eric. Nice hit. Causing an injury. Now he's got the dagger, let's try to puncture him. Got two chances. Okay, we've got the first one. I will move him here. He's got a decent enough shield. 
and will help with the surroundment bonus. Our chance to hit him is 37 with a normal hit. So let's do it. Oh, that was pretty decent. Um, he will have to wait. Oh, they are pushing forward. He's still fighting. Do you have a... He's got a knife. Let's try. 17%. Hmm. Let's actually do a normal attack. Not good. Now you need to help out down here, I think. I'll go for puncture. Slim chances only, but still. You try to knock him out. Try again. No. Okay, he hit our guy's head. You throw at him, maybe? 32%. He's got the shield up, 27. So let's throw at him. And again. No. Now we've got the chance to kill him, maybe? Mm, no. An axe would be good now to destroy his shield. I think you'll just form a spear, shield, shield wall. There's nothing else you can do. Nothing. Ooh, ouch. I will attack him. Well, I will move closer to the others already, but I will attack him normally. I don't think it should destroy his entire armor if I hit him, which I don't. Now, the thing is, I could have shot if he was uh, next to me. I couldn't reload, but since um, it's not loaded, I can't do anything but hope for the best. At least he's got quick hands. Come on, puncture. Puncture again. Good. Okay, he will have to retreat, I think. Aim shot against this dude is 55% and against him it's 53. But his armor is shittier than his. But he's already gravely wounded, so let's shoot at him. Very good. Come on. Nice. Please do it again with only a 46% chance. Okay. Now with him I actually want to try to push him away. What's our chance for that? It's decent but not good. Okay, because I'm worried about the ranged guy. Come on, hit him. Nice. So we've got two chances for male uh, shirts or chain mail. Now you pick up the s spear and actually, can you get here? Yes, you can. Good. Okay, he needs to retreat. And you need to move forward. Okay, he's actually quite fatigued. He can't get up there if he goes like this. If he goes like this and up here, it'll work. But I should maybe focus on him first. Because I've got two guys here as well. And we will bring out the dogs now. Because this is going to be a dangerous situation here. He will have to wait so that he can then move forward. Uh, same applies to him and he can swap back to his uh, crossbow and reload and shoot at you I think okay not very good normal shot against him has a chance of 37 let's do it come on that was better last round no so he's got um, his guard up, so I'll just 
put my guard up as well. Take him once. What's my chance to puncture him? 29 only. Because of his bloody shield. Let's try again. Good. You stay there. Yeah, he was bound to go for him without the shield wall. Okay, you will definitely release the dog. And swap to the spear. It's interesting, look, he's got the wand color here. Shall I send him here for a surroundment? No, because he will do a swing. Uh, he might swing his axe. Unfortunately, I can't try to knock any of these out. 29%, 39%. No. That's bad. You go up here and try to step him. He's almost dead. Can I attack and still release the dog? No, I can't. So I will just release the dog. Almost dead. Okay, he will have to retreat, otherwise he dies. He might die anyway. He's bleeding. No, he's not. Okay, now he can hopefully hit him. 48%. Oh, good hit to the head. And maybe you can finish off this dude. Yes. It was good for the morale. And now the dog is actually very smart and engages the ranged guy who can still shoot once but now he has to reload which he can't okay this is not good our guy is going to flee which will trigger them to attack me 48 percent let's try not good um he can actually now stay because they won't be able to shoot at me lucky hit he's inspired by nearby leader which is this dude. Holy crap. Twenty-six percent, but I had to take the chance. Get into position to shoot at him again. Nothing. What's your chance? Forty-nine, come on, and he's fleeing, very good. Let's try to finish him off for morale. We did. Now you need to engage this guy. Didn't trigger his morale to get worse. Not good. I think he might die. That would be really sad. Let's go for a normal attack, maybe? What's the chance for a normal attack? 48%. What's the chance for a 33 but we hit him and deal quite some damage. Now, he's still fighting, but he's a bit more surrounded. Yeah, he died. Malik the indebted, he was just a slave, so it's not too bad. Now his armor is still good enough to get into this fight. Yeah, and there he goes. We've lost. Wilfried. But he was only a nimble guy. And the armor builds tend to be better. Okay, we need to try to save our dog. Come on, hit him. We hit him to the head, but he still has lots of armor. Too much, for my, in my opinion. Can we try to puncture him from up here? Come on, what's the chance for that? 27%. I might go for the normal attack here. And again. 
No. Okay, we should start thinking about getting a guy with a shield with an with an axe weapon. And here I can only attack once. Okay, I can attack again. This shield is holding. And now it's this doggy, come on. Okay, now you really need to hit him. Come on. Nice! Very, very good. Okay, the rusty male has been destroyed. Um, let's get into position to attack the other dude. Oh, he's, he's hitting like a hammer. I could push him down. I don't think it's necessary here. I won't engage with him, his armor is too shined. But we will shoot at him with a chance, I guess, 20 ish? 49! Okay. 58. Come on. Not so good. He's almost dead, but only almost. He does have rotation. I could rotate him out, actually. Good doggy. And he gives us some surroundment bonus as well. Now we can bring him on. He can still fight from the distance. There's some heads lying around. You just stay there, you're too far away. I think he'll be dead till you arrive. Good hit to the armor. Yeah, we need you. Come on. Okay. He's breaking. That's good for us. It will decrease his attack and defense ratings, but he kills a dog. That's very unfortunate because I like the dogs. We will need to get some replacement dogs. Now, like, everyone is focusing on him. Let's try to puncture him and maybe even get the armor. No. His armor is a bit too shite. No. Okay, come on. Okay, he's breaking. Uh, fleeing. We've got it. Nice. Malik the Indebted has survived. Siegfried the Nimble has died, unfortunately. And Malik... We has... Well, we won't be able to use him anymore. Siegfried the Nimble, though... He's... He's had zero kills during this battle. And he's been with us for 32 days. That's a shame. Now the loot, we do get three nice pieces of armor. Some shields, some ammunition, some gold, some food. Some helmets here. Is it over? Yes, it is. Is it not? Just in case, let's get you into the front line. What, whoever you are, who are you? Wolfgang? We need a front line dude. Maybe with some slightly better armor. And our good front line fighters, Malik, will need to be retired. What's his deal? He's a resolve guy. Now he's going to be a tank eventually. So... 
Welcome to the front line, my friend. Oh, a winged maze. Is that better than 35 to 55? Yeah. Here we go. And Wilfried, did we actually lose a companion? No. Hagen is a companion and Wilfried. He gets a chainmail, one chainmail, albeit. And you get a nice helmet because you're frontline dude. You as well. Now this is 50, 55, 70. This is only 16. This is 65. You can get this. All right, he will be retired. Retire him, no compensation. He's not been with us for quite for long. So Gerold, you get melee attack. Melee defense is decent dish. And health of fatigue, I think I'll go for fatigue here for now. And your perk is going to be... What is it going to be? He's not the greatest guy. And he's got brain damage. I think he'll be like a brawny guy or... Let's give him the shield. Oh, let's give him rotation. Let's give him rotation. Didn't really use it much yet, but I will if the situation comes up. Then we've got Thoidobald. He will definitely be a, some sort of fighter. Oh, plus three melee defense. And then let's give him some fatigue. Okay. He doesn't have Colossus yet, so it's an easy pick. Um, here we go. Then we've got Halstein. Oh, he's going to be... Oh, damn it. He's going to be an awesome fighter. We will have to rename them eventually. And not now. There we go. Plus four melee attack, plus three defense. And this is not great, plus three and plus two. So let's give him actually, let's give him plus three fatigue. Or plus three, let's give him plus three fatigue. It's better than nothing. And he will definitely become a student of the art of killing. Now you, my friend, will become like a hybrid-ish sort of character. Unfortunately, only plus two melee attack. Let's give him the plus four. Not sure what I, weapon I should give him. He's got quick hands already. I think I'll give him uh, Pathfinder. And we should actually make it clear that he's a sort of melee guy by giving him, giving him, um, didn't we get some throwing axes? No, yes we did. And then let's give him an X. Let's make him an X, dude. And let's give him this helmet and a slightly better armor. I think that is minus vision, so let's not give him that. Let's give him that. 
he can actually go to this side. All right. It's not looking too shabby. Um, let's go to the town. And the switchers will make good use of the crowns. Indeed, we will. And there's an easy contract that we can pick up in the next episode and we will do some trading then as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.